Hi, Jill. This is a tutorial on how to use iDVD um, to make your disc. So, first step is to go up to Spotlight and type in iDVD. You open up iDVD. It opens. You're going to click Create New Project, name it whatever you want, and make sure widescreen is selected. Create. Replace. Now your window will pop up. You see it here. On your on your right is a list of templates. I like the template called Modern. Click Modern. It might warn you, it might not. Click Theme, if it does. Once you've got the Modern template selected, there's a little down arrow beside. Click. Click it. Now down, you will have more menu options. Click the one called Extras. This gives you your nice, um, clean template. Now you're noticing here that I've got these red boxes. To make these appear, click View and click uh, Show. Mine says Hide because it's already enabled. Show TV Safe Area and Show Standard Crop Areas. Click both of those to get these red boxes. What these red boxes are is the first red box right here is showing you what your um, standard square TV is going to look like. So anything that is leaking outside the box is going to be cut off on the screen. Second box goes for the same except for widescreen. So anything that's leaving that is going to also be cut off. You're going to notice that half the S here is cut off, so we're just going to drag that right back in. Nice. Well, I don't want that called Modern Extras, so just click that and rename it to whatever you want. Happy. Yes. That's spelled wrong. I know it. Okay, you got that. Well, now we need to put in our video. So over here on your desktop might be your video. Click and drag that into the black area. Not the drop zone, but the black area. You'll drag it and you'll notice that the name here pops up. Click that once or twice to rename and name that whatever you want. And also underneath that you'll have a list of sizes that you can change. Now remember, when you're doing the sizes, you don't want anything to leave. Okay, nice, we got that. But now we need to put something in our drop zone. So put the exact same video, because that's the only video in here, into the drop zone. Pop. Now, what this is going to do is show them, while they're in the DVD menu, their um, little movie preview. So once again, or not once again, but drag the sliders to show what parts you want to show in the first drop zone. So let's go to that section there. Good, we've got our first drop zone. So click out, just by clicking in the black, and click this button right here. That's going to cause it to play. And now you see, and now you see the drop zone 2 fades in. Do the exact same. Pop it in and make different slider adjustments by single clicking and causing this to pop up. So let's go right there. Same with number three. And if you want to take a shortcut so you don't have to play, just drag this little triangle to about there to get to drop zone three. Do the same. Click it once, adjust your sliders. Now you've got it. Cool. You click these little dots here, the little screens, show DVD map. Click that, and it shows you here you've got drag contents, you have your main menu and you have your movie. Um, the, the first one would be a preview that you want to display, such as your uh, movie logo like mine. The second one is just showing this is your menu. You double click it, you can see that. You can see there, this is your menu. And the third one is your actual video file. And that's how iDVD works. So after you have performed these actions and edited to your content of heart. Um, you can single click something, click information, it'll give you another pop-up window that allows you to do options. So you can change the color to whatever you want there, click the background picture here, comes up with more options, you can drag music in, you can drag background pictures in for this area here, and you can change a whole bunch of different options. But right now we won't worry about those. You just see here, we have our title, we have our actual video file, and our DVD map is correct with no little warnings. Now go ahead and click the vortex thingy to burn the disk. And that's all there is to it. I know it's a lot, but 
you get used to doing it if you're into video thing, and I hope that can help you. Thanks for watching.